Hey guys, this is The Hidden Matrix and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be carrying on with the Minecraft Survival World Series, The Hidden World and in today's episode we're going to be building a mob spawn. If I can get out the door we can do it <laughs> as well. <laughs> I still need to fix those doors, let's, let's go and jump over that <laughs> leapfrog, that rope. <laughs> so let's go all the way to where I want to build it, it's over by that pull and basically it's going to be a 25 block high mob spawn and I might turn it into a mob hotel. <laughs> Things are dying left right and center over here. It is daytime as well so that's probably why. So I'm going to build it right by here. So what we're going to do is start off with is build a platform for where we want everything. So I'm going to go and build a nice square platform so we can fit everything on. We'll put down the two chests which will be for our loot, what we get from the falling mobs <laughs> when they meet their doom. We'll place the hoppers, we'll make sure that they connect correctly to the chests and each other. So they go in the right direction, make sure on the crouch as well and that should work fine. Just like this, the four hoppers, so that's their, their landing pad. <laughs> Some may be able to survive but we'll have a little gap that we can go and strike any who, uh, who seem to survive and I don't know if uh, baby zombies will be able to get through that one block gap but they might be able to escape but uh, not on my watch it. Hey what do you think horse? <laughs> no? You're not interested? Oh, well bye. <laughs> it's getting dark. He wants to go to bed so <laughs> like us we'll go to sleep now and sleep through the night. It's too far away. There we go. And we'll sleep by the build so it just makes life easier even though you can see my house. <laughs> I will be improving my house as well. I have promised that so we'll make sure that eventually Eventually we'll get proper rooms in there like kitchens, living rooms and proper bedrooms etc you know. So now what I'm doing is just building around and I'm going to build the platform for where all the glass will go. Let's go two blocks high to start off with. Once again this will be going up 25 blocks as that is the minimum you need for mobs to have to fall for them to actually die once they hit the ground so we'll go across here and then we have that one block gap over here now you can just place two blocks here across like that and you can see we've got a little gap to strike any who try and <laughs> escape this and think they can escape it so guys i'm quickly just going to build up up to about 25 blocks high then we'll get on with the actual mob spawner itself so guys we are 25 blocks high up in the air, <laughs> gotta be careful, stay on crouch. We do have a landing pad if we do need to <laughs> jump off or if we're going to fall. We do have something to aim for if we're on the right side of course, so we're not going to fall exactly 25 blocks down, maybe about 20 to 15. <laughs> but now we'll do the next layer which is just going to go and fill in a square here, so we're just going around all the glass and this square hole that we have and just fill that in like that like so and I'll go here to the edge and I'll count out eight blocks so we've got two here we'll go three four five six seven eight there we go and we'll go and do it two blocks wide all the way and we'll do that on the other sides of this square as well. I tell you what guys, I haven't lived life on the edge for a very long time since I went to the end, <laughs> flying with the elytra against the ender dragon. <laughs> now on the edge of this block, <laughs> 25 blocks high, and we could fall to our death at any moment while trying to build this. So what I'm doing now is basically just going to go all the way around and this is basically where the water will go. The water buckets that I have will be used to go and make the mobs once they fall into this part they'll eventually with the water be pushed all the way down to their death <laughs> to the edge and there's no way if they can't swim they're doomed <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> but okay guys I can confirm the trap works <laughs> if you fall from the top of there you will die <laughs> okay I just went backwards just Minding my own business, building the mob spawn and I fall down. <laughs> I didn't see that coming to, to be totally honest, so I'm going to respawn. Oh wow, what is left? <laughs> is everything in the hoppers? 
I wonder. <laughs> Let's get all my loot back. <laughs> back to me. Oh, wow. I <laughs> can't believe this. Oh, what a catastrophe. Yes, thanks game. Yeah, put it right in my face. I fell from a high place. Yes, I did a noob moment. <laughs> right, let's get everything back. None of you mods will be stealing anything. <laughs> it's a good thing we've got hoppers here just to collect all my, my stuff though, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to get all the way back up and try and not fall off when trying to build it this time. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll stay on crouch <laughs> while I build this. <laughs> just going around this now, just making sure <laughs> that I don't fall off. Yeah, I'm right on the edge again. I I'm aware of this now. <laughs> I'm aware of the dangers now that it's actually happened to me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it, really. And oh, again, hit by pillager raids <laughs> through the night as well. So I got all this on me, <laughs> all this smoke coming off me. Now with this done, I'm going to go and fill it up with water here. Okay, it's disappearing on me. Now, there we go. Can we get that next one? Like this, and it will flow. I just realized I might put myself in a difficult situation here. <laughs> this is mine, one of the blocks. There we go. <laughs> because the only way to get a, out of that water without breaking the block is to go down there, and I, I'd rather not take another trip down there, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to fill all these areas with two buckets of water and that'll be nice and ready for the mobs to start spawning in and falling down in there but of course it's not dark enough yet as we actually need to build a nice big room for them to stay in so I'll be going and filling in all this here to go and connect them together and then <laughs> I think I'll be a lot safer and then yeah <laughs> a lot happier once that's nicely filled in. <laughs> it seems like I've got a bit of a dilemma here. <laughs> I've got to get down from here without dying and I need to go get some more resources as I'm, I thought I was prepared. I always try to get myself prepared for each video but seem to never be fully prepared but <laughs> as you can see I need a little bit more resources to fill in these parts and then to do the walls and the roof and I thought I spun off the <laughs> the edge again there and I also need some trapdoors. I completely forgot about those but do need to go get those because mobs seem to think that if you've got a trapdoor and you close it and it's downwards that they can still walk on it. So that's what makes them go into the water. <laughs> that's what tricks them. So <laughs> that's why we're using that. And I'm going to go and find a way down. So I'm going to <laughs> try and jump this. I don't know if it's possible, but who knows? Let's try it. <laughs> or if there's any other water supplies around. So I was just looking for some water supplies to jump into and I accidentally walked off the edge. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> well, uh, that's a second death in the video. <laughs> ah, no, guys, 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 calm down, calm down. I'm in crouch mode. Go on. Let's be friends. Oh my goodness gracious me. How many is it? There's like a, they're all congregating in a massive group. Oh my goodness gracious me. How many creepers are there? It's like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> guys, seriously, calm down, please, please, please. Uh, have I got everything? I need my bow. There we go. Those two are fighting each other. <laughs> Come on, who's going to win? <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> Could help them out. Come on, guys. Give me a bit of time to regroup here. Oh, come on, guys. No, no, no. I'm not dying like this. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. Okay, now I'm getting shot at by a skeleton. How did he dodge that? That was an incredible dodge. It was like right close to me. It was right next to me. Someone managed to jump right over it. Whoa, there's something behind me. No, I'm not getting cornered from everywhere. <laughs> Whoa, this is so intense. Right, where did they all go? I feel like they might have just disbanded a little. <laughs> they might have had enough of me. <laughs> I'm too fast for them. Let's just try and uh, clean a path, of course. So, uh, I'm terrible at aiming. Let's try and make sure that he's not moving. There we go. <laughs> and again, no, I missed him. Try and charge it a bit more. Yes, you're not coming after me. No, I missed three times. That's not good enough. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my word, the creeper blow it right behind me. And we've got a zombie with chainmail armor on. <laughs> I don't really think it works for you, mate. Might need to try a different fashion, but uh, never mind. Too late for that. <laughs> Just to try and get rid of all of them. <laughs> oh, boy. They just keep coming, don't they? Okay, you glitched out there. You just wanted to fly in the air. <laughs> Your moment to shine in the air, eh? And take you out. Good thing I've got um, infinity on my bow. That's that's nice. I don't know if you can have infinity and mending on the same bow. 
I don't know if I've uh, run out of space to enchant things since I've, I might have too many things on uh, the bow to enchant it further but we'll see of course in the future if I want to try and put mending on it but I think it's time to sleep after that crazy <laughs> moment and I think I've got everything I believe I've got everything and I hope I've got everything okay something just died I, I don't know what that was but uh, Okay, so it's spiders, it looks like. It does look like it might be wor working. I don't know why that hasn't fallen down, but it should. <laughs> so, <laughs> wonder what we're going to get in the chest. So, we've got one string there. So, <laughs> even though it's not fully ready, we know that they can at least start spawning in there, which is great, of course. So, I'll be back to you guys once I've got the resources. and back up there to be able to start building again. Well, guys, it's back to work. <laughs> so I'm going to fill this in and then go all the way around the edge. And, and we should have then a nice barrier. <laughs> so then we don't fall off so easily. And uh, well, I haven't really come up with another plan yet to go and <laughs> jump down. But hopefully uh, it won't be so difficult. And we can just pretend like nothing happened. <laughs> nothing bad has already happened, guys. Let's, let's just say that. <laughs> I'm going to go and put all the trap doors on like this. And we'll have them facing down, of course, like that. And they'll be like that on the other side as well, like this. And then bring them facing downwards. And that's how it's going to be for all the others. And just like that, the trap doors are done. And it's looking very, very nice. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks brilliant. I think it <laughs> it's looking like it's getting there and looking like a mob spawner. But all we need to do now is go up about three more blocks high and then we'll roof it and that'll be the mob spawner done and then we can actually test it and I haven't done it over water obviously as the difference with having it over water is that you'll have fish spawn in it and you'll be able to catch a lot of fish in it and it can be a great way to farm fish if you would like to do that but me I just want to get mobs <laughs> right now and I'm part of the aquatic world and <laughs> I feel mean doing it to my fish friends <laughs> my sea friends my ocean friends so <laughs> I'm going to spare them this time and I'm going to be spawning mobs just to get their loot <laughs> I tell you what, you can see a lot in this treehouse with the parrots home. <laughs> look, look, there's a creeper on the cat's roof. How dare it? <laughs> Should I try and shoot it from here, see what happens? Hey, nope, didn't see that going, did it? No, nope, still missed. Okay, I'm a terrible aimer. We got him. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he landed and died. Poor guy, but you can see the pandas there and you also got the foxes. <laughs> got a nice view from here, haven't you, haven't you parrots? Forgotten your names. I'm so sorry. I'll have to check back in the comments or some, on one of the videos since I had a document on the, on the animals' names in the world, but I kind of forgotten. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get all the way over there. So to do that, I've got myself a platform here. So I'm going to try and do this the best I can. So let's see if we can get this right. <laughs> right, three, two, one, let's go. Yay, look at us, we're magnificent. Yes, flying crocodile right into the clouds, right? Can I control this? Can I control this? Yes, I can. Oh, that was perfect. That was a beautiful landing. <laughs> An expert flight crocodile already. <laughs> you could trust me with your elytra any day. <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm going to fill in this roof and that'll be the mob spawner complete for now. Unless I want to go and do a tier two mob spawner, which is just to add another one of these rooms just without the water. Though instead you just have a gap where they would fall right down into the water in this level so it can go up to about I think tier 4 or tier 5 maybe even tier 6 don't know really that much just depends on how high you build up so it just depends then on where the mobs will spawn of course at what level of in the sky that they will spawn but we're going to keep it to tier 1 now so <laughs> I think we'll keep it at that for now since I think it'll do just fine so I'm going to go and fill this roof and be very careful of course <laughs> So I made sure that the mob spawner was nice and lit up on the top so that you didn't have mobs spawning in on the top of here as you want them to be inside instead when they spawn. So we'll go in here and like that, that is complete. And this is how it should look 
once you've completed everything, once you've built everything and now I've fallen down, no, why? <laughs> why does this have to happen every time? No, but I'll try to go out. Though I just built up, so I'll be back on here so I can jump off back to my house and I think I'll go get one of the dogs to go and <laughs> see the show of the mob spawn again and everything and see how that goes. <laughs> so I'll leave this for a few minutes just to see if it actually is working <laughs> and see if we can actually get something from this see what we catch in the trap <laughs> One of you guys in the comments suggested that I bring another dog along with me and <laughs> let them be in the spotlight for once. Sorry Rex, I do love you but <laughs> got to use other dogs sometimes. <laughs> Gotta show the love to other dogs haven't I? that I actually care about them and they're not just in the uh, the house for the rest of their life. Yeah, I scamp and that's Jesse there and we got Abby so I'll bring her along with us to the show of the mob. Sorry, can you come out here Abby? Don't be shy, <laughs> it's your moment to shine. It's your moment on the spotlight. <laughs> right, so let's go and travel to the mob spawner. You enjoying the front row seats over there, Abby? <laughs> Look at her, <laughs> waiting in anticipation for a mob to fall down to his doom and his death. <laughs> ah, wow. <laughs> you really are excited for this, aren't you? Yeah, you haven't been outside for a very, very long time and look at it, it's raining. Of course, that's the weather you get once you're allowed to be outside. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, here we go, a zombie. <laughs> you fell down, yes. How about that? Abby, you were just looking the other way and look at another one's fallen. And <laughs> you're looking the other way. Oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you the front row seats and look at that. <laughs> you're looking at me, am I more interesting than... Uh, one of the mobs falling. <laughs> I must be. I've got a, I've got a pretty face of it. Well, there's a skeleton as well. They're all coming. They're all lining up here. <laughs> Let's have a look at the chest that is coming along nicely. At least we've got things filling in there. I'll add in my string and rotten flesh and spider eye. Why not? And we'll go for the bones. Anything mob-like we can keep in there. As well as the illager banner. So <laughs> it's coming along nicely. Yeah, we've got a spider. It's trying to resist. You can tell. You can see its red eyes up there. <laughs> I wonder if it can cheat the system and climb back up. No, it can't. Oh, wait. It has climbed back up. I, I expected to hear an impact. But no, it's, it's actually cheated the system. No, it's gone back there down. <laughs> the other one couldn't do it. But wow, that one might actually save itself. I think it actually did. No, is it, is it going back down? <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> That's the save of the century from mob spawners. <laughs> That's the only problem with mob spawners that the have spiders doing that. Wait, it, it's fallen down. Never mind. You had your moment of glory, but <laughs> it didn't last. It didn't last, did it, Abby? And you still missed it. I bring you out for you to enjoy this occasion and yeah. Just stare at me for the whole time. What if I stand over here? <laughs> yeah, you're just following my face, aren't you? No, no, you've had enough of me, have you? Nope. Okay, you just don't, you don't want to watch. <laughs> you don't want to see a mob fall to its death and be brutally hitting the ground, I guess. No, no it's, it's not for you, is it? No, no. Nope. Well, at least we got some resources from this. And we now have a way of spawning mobs and farming their loot, which is great and it makes it a little bit easier. And I probably will develop this place into like a mob hotel. I think I said that earlier. And basically have probably about four tiers four layers of rooms and everything and just have like a just a hotel for mobs really just where you have rooms where it's just pitch black and mobs will hopefully spawn in there you can pretend they're like kind of customers and everything and up there will might have like a storage room up here or down below and just develop this into something a bit more interesting than just a, <laughs> a massive thing up in the sky <laughs> which is it's great that we finally have this though now <laughs> and the world will keep on developing and becoming better of course so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did be sure to hit that like button that'd be very much appreciated <laughs> look abby's abby's looking at you she's saying you hit that like button now for <laughs> hidden matrix do it for him <laughs> do it for me <laughs> yeah i'd be very much appreciated if you did hit that like button that'd be great and if you're new around here and you'd like to see more video game content from me or drawing tutorials as i do minecraft survival world series and i try to do as many drawing tutorials throughout the week for you guys as possible and if they are something you're interested in then please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell and turn on all notifications for the channel so you don't miss a video as soon as I upload a video to the channel. That'd be very much appreciated. So as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, week, wherever you guys are from. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye.